The future is here and I am seriously blown away by this new AI tool called ChatGPT and in this video I'm going to show you the best ways to use it to make loads of money. But first, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then where have you been because everyone has been talking about it over the last week or so. But if you don't know what it is, it's an AI robot that can basically do almost anything and it is unbelievable it can write you a song about anything it can write you essays it can even code and it is super super mind-blowing i've been playing around with it for like the last few days and i found some epic ways that you can use it to make money and i actually am really ill at the moment i was just in bed a minute ago i've got a cold off flu but this has just been spinning around in my mind i was like i just need to tell someone about it i tried to explain it to my girlfriend about how amazing it was and the things you can do with it she kind of didn't get it slash didn't really care so i was like i just need to pull the camera out and show my subscribers some ways that you can make money using this awesome tool. First up, if you've seen other people speaking about how to make money with this, this is not going to be like those videos because I've seen a few videos where they're basically the main way that people think you can make money from chat GPT is, and I'm going to show you how it works in a second if, it, if you don't know what I'm talking about, but they they think, oh, you can just get it to write blog posts. Get it to write a blog post and then you could maybe host that blog post, get clicks on it, and then make some money from affiliate marketing or, or ad revenue. That is not the best way to use it. Other people are saying, oh, I'm going to set up an agency, like a copywriting agency, and then I'm going to basically sell copywriting services and then get the robot to do it for me, which is okay. But I mean, that's not the best way to do it either. We're, that is just scratching the surface with what is possible with ChatGPT. And I'm going to show you the very best ways that you can use it to make a lot of money and very quickly. Before we dive in, all I ask is that you smash the like button because I did just get out of bed with a really bad cold to film this video and I really do appreciate it. First up is to create a money-making browser extension. The Chrome extension business is massive and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make one with ChatGPT in just a second. But I'm sure most people watching this video have used the browser extension before. The main ones are hosted on Chrome and they're basically just little applications that work on your browser. As you can see here on my Chrome browser, in the top here on this bar, there's lots of little icons. They're all Chrome extensions that I've installed and they're basically just little helpful tools. Like this one here, really simple. It allows me to pick a color from the page. So I click on that. Or another one here is this one here, which allows me to draw on any page. So if I'm doing a YouTube video and I want to talk about this ambulance picture, I can draw on it, I can circle it. A really simple browser extension. But those are just a few of them. There's literally thousands of these Chrome extensions which you can access in the Chrome extension store from massive companies and independent creators that do all sorts of things and they can be a great way of making money. Just to give you an idea, the guy that created this Adblock Chrome extension, according to the podcast, My First Million, generated over $44 million in 2017 from this Chrome extension that he created himself. And there's also this other simple Chrome extension which generates around about $10,000 per month and basically it allows people to screenshot a full image of a web page. Really, really simple tools that you can get ChatGPT to create and I'm gonna show you how. I wanna create a Chrome extension. I've got zero clue how to do it. I don't know anything about coding. I don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna to come to ChatGPT and ask it to create me one and tell me how to actually do it. So let's just try it here. So I was thinking before, what could I create an, an app for a, a Chrome extension? And I was thinking I'm vegan and I thought, when you go onto like a recipe website that's got non-vegan recipe, it would be really good if you could have a little a little Chrome extension that automatically makes any non-vegan recipe and turns it vegan. And it's really simple to do because all it needs to do is take the word milk and then replace it with the word vegan milk alternative. And if it sees the word meat or chicken, it can change it to vegan chicken alternative. So it's basically just a really simple Chrome extension that can just change a word on a page, but if you're a vegan, you might wanna have that turned on. So every time you see a recipe, you're not being bombarded with milk and, and fish and egg and all that kind of things. So let's let's ask it to create one. So I've just said, can you create me a Chrome extension script for an app called Veganize? The extension will read content on a web page and change the word milk to vegan. And it said it may be against their policies, but I don't think it is, but it's still giving me the the the, the script. And then it literally is producing me the script for this, this thing that I've just created. I just wrote it in like really non-specific terms, not really grammatically correct. Can you do this? I want it to do this and you work it out yourself and it's actually creating me the, the scripts and it's telling me step by step what I need to do. Basically, I need to copy this code and then I need to save it as a file called manifest.json. So I just copy the code. Then I need to come to text edit, which is just a program on my computer. And then I need to just save that as a file called manifest and then I need to take this code which is a content and then I need to basically just save that 
as a text file as well. Then it tells me what I need to do. So I need to install the extension, go to Chrome extensions page, and then developer mode, and then load unpacked button and add in the file. So come to Chrome extensions. This is all my extensions here, but I just need to click on developer mode and then click on load unpacked. And then I just need to upload the file that contains both of those documents and boom, I think that is it. Let's just go to my list of extensions here. Veganize here, let's pin it to the top bar. It's this little V and we're in business. So let's go and find a recipe and see where it actually works. So let's open up a recipe for rice pudding. And as you can see here, this recipe is asking people to add in on the shopping list, 700 mils of semi-skimmed milk. And it says sugar here, stir free the milk. We're vegan, we don't want milk. So we're gonna turn on this Chrome extension onto all sites and boom, it's already happened before our very eyes. 700 mils of semi-skimmed vegan milk alternative. Then tip the rice and sugar and stir through the vegan milk alternative. Boom, it's changed that. So every time I view a recipe online, it's gonna have vegan milk instead of milk. And now we've got a tool that literally veganizes any recipes. And I'm sure that other vegans out there would probably wanna install this on their computer so they don't have to look at non-vegan recipes ever again. So there's a few ways that we can monetize this. The first way is we could go to Chrome store and we could upload it on there and we could actually sell it. Someone might wanna pay a dollar for this or whatever. I mean, it's not the best app. It's a very quick one that I just created off the top of my head but we could make a more advanced one that someone might actually wanna pay a bit more money for. Or maybe you could have a free version and then you could have an upgraded version which maybe um, tells you where you can actually buy the, the ingredients for the vegan alternative foods and that kind of thing. And then you potentially could connect that to affiliate links. So that's a massive opportunity there um, by selling it through the Chrome store. Another way that we could use this to make money is actually by giving the Chrome extension away for free. And I know that doesn't sound great because like how are we gonna make money from that? But what we could do is we could use it as a really, really valuable lead magnet. So we could create a very simple, basic landing page that says, do you want to turn any recipe into a vegan recipe in one second with this free Chrome extension app? All you need to do is enter your email address to get access to this for free. And then basically you could promote that by promoting on YouTube, or you could promote on TikTok, or you could promote in, in Facebook groups with vegans, giving away this free, this free tool in exchange for someone's email. And then you will build an email list of people that you know are vegan. And then you could then promote other products to them like affiliate products and supplements and things where you could get commissions by sending them emails and making money that way. So there's two opportunities there where you can make money from a Chrome extension. The next way we can make money using chat GPT, if we don't wanna go down the Chrome extension route is to actually create a HTML web tool, which is similar to a Chrome extension in a way, but we can monetize it in a completely different way. And we can also use it to make money from free organic traffic. So we can actually get ChatGPT to create us some of these really useful tools, which we can monetize in a very, very simple way. And just to show you what I'm talking about here, I'll show you a tool that I always use quite a lot of the time, really, really simple, but a genius way of making money. And I come to Google and I type in VAT calculator, and this one pops up at the top, and it's basically a very, very simplified calculator that all it does is it adds 20%, which is the going current going rate for VAT in the UK. And VAT, if you don't know, is just basically sales tax. So if I've got something that I'm selling for a thousand pounds and I want to know how much VAT to charge, I click that and it tells me to charge 1,200 pounds to collect 200 pound VAT. Really simple. I could probably do that with a normal calculator. I could probably do that in my head, but I just go for the easy option, type in Google, give me a VAT calculator, tell me it in plain, simple terms. Now this website makes a lot of money for this very simple tool, all because of these adverts which pop up on the side here and up here at the top. And just to show you the amount of traffic that this website gets, let's just paste it into SimilarWeb, which 336,000 visits every single month and they're all viewing these adverts. So they're probably making a lot of money from this very simple tool. And we can get ChatGPT to create us one of these tools as well. And as you can see here, I asked ChatGPT to create me this tool earlier. Two lines it said, create me a VAT calculator with an add VAT button and also have a button where it says remove VAT. It gave me this script. I then just pasted it into a blank page on Kartra, which is a website builder I use, and it spat out this. And yeah, it is very, very simple. I didn't give it any design feedback. I actually said a little bit later on, can you add a little blue box around it? But this is just to show you how 
simpler it is to actually get something to create a tool from scratch. Now you could embed this into a nicer looking website or you could actually give it a bit more feedback on the fonts you want to use and the style and stuff like that. Then another really simple tool which I thought of before. So when I'm writing a script for a YouTube video and I kind of want to know how long the video is going to be based on how many words are in my script, based on the speed that I speak, that can be hard, quite hard to work out yourself. So I actually asked ChatGPT to create me something which will count the words in a piece of text. And then based on the speaking speed that I've got, how long will the video be in like an estimation? So let's give it a go here. Video length calculator. We paste it in there. And then based on four words per second, it says it's going to be an eight second video. There we go. And you can change it depending if you speak fast or you speak slow. Now again, very, very simple tool, but that's just the start. I literally give it a line of information to create me that, and it created me that. So imagine if you actually put a bit more time and effort into creating this and making it look cool, you could have a really good tool. And then the way that you'd make money with these is obviously trying to get them to rank on Google. So I typed in one day, video length calculator, and then a tool popped up and you could, this would pop up. But obviously there'll be a bit of competition for things like VAT calculator and video length calculator. But if you can think of a newer trend, for example, maybe like OnlyFans is taking off, someone might wanna know how much they can make on, on OnlyFans based on how much they earn. And actually someone has created an OnlyFans calculator, but that was someone jumping on something, maybe you could rank above them because it's probably a fresh one. And it says, how much do you charge per month? How many social media followers do you have? What is the potential? And there's loads of little things that you could create that someone might be able to work out if they did it the long way or with a spreadsheet or a calculator, but you can actually create a simplified thing that someone might actually search for. Um, and you could actually come up with some really good tools and then you could have adverts on that page where you make money from the adverts. Next up, you can use ChatGPT to create you a trading bot indicator. Now, this one is epic. If you've ever tried to trade crypto or stocks, you might have used this tool here called TradingView, which is a charting tool which shows the price action of different coins and commodities like Bitcoin or stocks like Apple and things like that. And basically, people come here if they want to trade and buy and sell stocks and cryptos. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this one because... I know my channel's not a trading channel, I'm a no trading expert, but this is super, super powerful what you can do, so I just wanted to share it. So inside of TradingView, one of the main features is the indicators. So they have a lot of indicators here which you can, you can get for free, but there's also some that you buy, and they basically add things onto the charts giving you indications of whether to buy and sell and things like that. For example, I actually paid for a, a trading indicator called Market Spot, which cost me around about $300 just to show you how much money you can make for these from these if you was to create one. And it basically, this one tells you when to buy and sell. So here, this little thing that pops up, this is an indicator. It's telling me to sell there and it's telling me to buy there. And it basically takes some data and works out the best time to buy and sell. Now there's a big business in this because as I said, I paid like $300 for six months of one of these indicators. So you could actually create an indicator and sell it using ChatGPT. And it's really as simple as, as what we've, so you could come into ChatGPT and say, can you create me a pine script indicator? Cause that's the software that TradingView uses that triggers a buy signal when the volume increases by 5% on the 15 minute time frame. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing, but if there's a lot of volume, maybe that's a good time to buy if other people are buying. And then it will literally spit us out a script and tell us how to use it for trading view. And as I said, you could create a website where you maybe sell these to people who want indicators, or if you could think of a good thing that you want to keep for yourself and a good indicator, you might be able to use it to help you trade as well. And it's literally spitting us out this. We add it in here and it will literally just appear in your indicators under here, under my script there. So yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail, like I said, with that one, but it is really powerful if you are into the trading game. The next thing that you can do with ChatGPT is absolutely mind blowing. And I'm going to show you how to do it now, but also stay tuned because I'm going to show you another epic AI tool, which I'd not heard of until recently. And it is, it's almost as mind blowing as ChatGPT. So make sure you keep listening for that because it is epic and we're going to use it with this strategy as well. So basically what this one is, is we can get ChatGPT to write us a book. And what we can do is we can actually get this book published. And the book that we're going to actually focus on is a children's book because it's actually quite easy to do. It's not that many words. And we can actually publish this on Amazon. And I'm going to show you how we can do the images and everything all using AI technology. So we could just come to ChatGPT and say, like, can you write me a children's book about a shy bear called Timmy who was scared to go to school? Bam. And one really important thing about doing this with like children's books is we don't just want to say, can you create me a random book about a book about a bear that went on a day out? That's not that's not interesting. We want to try and create a book that's 
touches on kind of a social issue or it's kind of got an educational element to it because there's a much more chance of, of parents wanting to buy it but also they might recommend it to other people as well. So rather than just going like the, the bear that had a day out to the shops, you're not going to recommend that to someone. But if there's a, this, this book has actually got an underlying message about a shy bear because there's a lot of shy children that are scared of going to school, this could be a good present to get a book for the, for the child that's, that's got his first day of school coming up and it can kind of have a little important message in the book as well. So it's literally writing as a story. Once upon a time in the forest, there's a bear t- named Timmy. He was a shy bear and he was nervous about starting school. Like he couldn't get la la la, and it keeps doing it. They sat in the classroom, made lots of new friends. He even started. He learned it was okay to be shy and it was normal to feel scared sometimes. He was grateful that he faced his fear and he went to school and he discovered that it was fun and exciting place to be and he was glad that he'd taken the chance. That is a fantastic idea for a book. Now, what we can do is. We want some images for this book. We can actually use AI technology to generate those images. And this is where it becomes mind blowing because we can say, can you give me a detailed description of what Timmy looks like so I can get an AI image creator to draw him? And then hopefully it's going to give us an image, um, a description, which we can then plug into this other tool, which I'm going to show you. And then I'm actually going to show you how we can actually get this published on a print on demand basis. So we don't have to invest in any books or anything like that. And we can sell this on Amazon. It is a mind blowing, great way of making money with chat GBT. Here we go. We've got it. He's a small bear with soft fur, brown fur, soft brown fur, a warm honey, honey brown color. That's detailed in it. Small nose, big eyes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this description and then the next tool that I'm going to use is something called Mid Journey. Now, this looks like super beta technology, and it is. It's actually in beta. It looks like something from like the 80s or something. But it's unbelievable. Basically, it's, a, it's free at the moment. There's a free trial. Um, and you basically join a Discord group. And the Discord group, you paste in your description and then it draws you images from AI, brand new images. It's, it's absolutely mind blowing. So basically, this is how it works. We just come in here, we type in forward slash imagine, and then we just need to paste in this little description of what Timmy would look like. And then we click bam. And then what it's going to do is going to create us an image within 60 seconds of four images of potentially what this bear could look like. And then we can upsize one of those images. And then what we can do is we can actually use that image and then create more images that go along with the scene that we can add into this children's book, all using AI technology. As you can see, it's actually starting to load. It's at 31% and it's drawing us the image of what Timmy the bear might look like. Wow. So these are the images that is created of this bear that I... That is amazing. And these do not already exist as well. It's not like it's stolen a photograph from somewhere. These do not exist. It's created from scratch. I love this one here. I didn't know it was going to be this realistic because you can put in prompts like cartoon bear, which I didn't obviously do, or Disney style bear and things like that. And it will draw you on. But that's quite cool there, this one. So we can basically upscale version four. So it's created as this image here. So what we can do now is we can actually take this image, then we can forward slash imagine prompt. You can actually paste in that image address and we can add in that description there. So we added the description, but now I've said setting in a classroom because we want to create an image of that bear in a classroom. So then what it's done here is created as some things here. I don't know what this text is here because it is AI generated. So we could actually put in the word no text and we might not get text. But now we've got the similar looking bear in a classroom setting. So that could be one of the, the images that's on the page where he actually makes it to school. And you can play around with this and actually build out a children's book and the images using AI generation. Then you can actually add those images alongside the, the text into a, a document that you can now upload to Amazon. So you can use a program like BookBolt, which is mainly for like low content books, but it's got a studio builder where you can build out the, the cover of the book and the, the pages inside and actually format all of that. And it'll give it you in the perfect dimensions for an Amazon book. So you can use that. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Or you can maybe try and do it on Canva as well from scratch, but you'll have to do each page individually and then download them as some kind of PDF. And then you can come over to Amazon KDP, which is Amazon's self-publishing arm of Amazon. And basically you can upload your PDF of your book and they will host it on Amazon for sale. And then if someone buys it from Amazon, they will actually print it on demand. 
and then you take a cut and they take a cut. It's a fantastic business model and you could do this so many times because it's been so easy to create that children's book. You could create 10 children's books or 20 children's books all around different issues that are affecting children and one of them takes off, you can make a lot of money. If you want more information on actually selling books on Amazon with Amazon KDP and low content books as well, make sure you check out this video here. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, cheers guys.